Helena. No, it's me. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Where am I? Back in the land of the living. Here, let me. I'll be fine. You almost drowned. You need to... I said I'm fine. Just... Excuse give me that. Do you hear that? Oh, it's music. You go on, I just... Oh. See that. Okay, I, I won't be long. I won't be long, Mr. DeWitt. What up, guys? It's Ben and Owens here, bringing you episode 4 of my Bioshock Infinite Let's Play. And in this episode, we're going to start getting into the meat of the game here. We got... Well, we're going to have to first search for Elizabeth, of course. But we get Elizabeth, and, well, this is the meat of the game now, and it's going to be the main part of uh, the gameplay, and you'll see how exactly how Elizabeth plays in the game, and she plays very well, very well indeed. So... I actually, as I'm recording this, I beat the game. Freaking great, freaking great. Uh, I'll talk about some of the more like story stuff as I get up to it. Same thing with the Skyward Sword Let's Play. I kind of hint, I kind of tease it a little bit, and uh, to use the the word from the Rooster Chief guys, I tease it. But uh, yeah, the game, great. I just the story ended perfectly. There was no, oh, I don't know if this would be a spoiler, but there was no non-necessary boss fight like in Bioshock 1 so just it, wow it ended perfectly I'm I really have to say I'll I'll give it a a little bit more time before I really start getting into like a huge thing like a huge like review about it but just you know let's let it simmer in a little bit so okay so there's gonna be a cutscene coming up right about now and I'm gonna leave you guys to it and I'll be back in a few hey miss it Miss, I miss, Miss Elizabeth. Hello, oh, this is wonderful. Well, come dance with me, Mr. Dwight. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? Well, how about Paris? Paris? How, I, I don't understand. How could we get there? That's where that airship's going, but if you want to stay and dance, we can... No, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go right now. Okay, now we're back back here and you just saw Booker lie to Elizabeth about where the airship goes. Of course he has to take her to New York whereas she really wants to go to Paris and and I... that's probably gonna bite him in the ass. Probably. You know, it's a, it's a good good little, uh... Good, good idea. So we're gonna get into some gunplay. It's fairly soonish maybe. It's, there's a lot of exploring. Uh, the way this game works out for uh, gameplay-wise is you do these very large gun elements, like gunplay segments, especially with ones with the skyline, the sky rails, which are just amazing with how well they control. So yeah, so you do gun, uh, uh, you do like uh, shooting seg segments with, and then you get split up to something like we're doing right now which is a more of an exploratory sense and you just explore the word here so these little uh, male and female kind of uh, pop up again and if you notice if you pay attention to the voices they were the same uh, voices as the characters in the beginning of the game with the raincoats so I've already beaten the game so I'm not gonna spoil any story so I'm just gonna stop talking about them so for this little like pendant thing, I decided to choose the bird one because I'm pretty sure Elizabeth is very happy about being free and probably would not want the cage one. I I think I think I worked out. I'm, you know, I'm trying to be a very nice guy and give her the give her the bird pendant to make her not think of being trapped in the tower for a bunch of time. So all the citizens here start noticing the angels like halfway destroyed. <laughs> Whoopsie Daisy, my bad guys, my bad. So you can see, so you can see right now. This is before her costume change. She undergoes it in, like maybe like halfway through the game. I think is a is a good sense. So yeah, she changes her clothes. Like you can see right now, she kind of looks like a uh, Belle from 
Beauty and the Beast, actually. I know, I know it's a little bit weird to to make that comparison, but yeah, she looks like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And I guess she's very innocent, too, look like that, like the way her character is. And, uh, this is, okay, this is pretty funny right here, because this is a very, very big gameplay element, is the lockpicking, and you just have her lockpick. See, I really enjoyed this, because in the first Bioshock, there was the terrible hacking minigame that got really old, and unless, like, you had certain perks, or certain, I think, tonics, unless you had certain tonics, and I think, well, you had to cast a, I think it was freeze on them to make them slower, so unless you had certain tonics and and freeze equipped some of the more difficult ones were almost impossible to to hack so in this game the lock picking you just collect lock picks and tell elizabeth where to go and it's works out a lot better actually I'm, i was very surprised with how much that works because just uh egregious 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 there you go egregious of video I, it's kind of it's it's kind of like the mass effect thing where you either have to explore or scan planets and it, you know it's really cool at first but it kind of gets old the same way that's what the hacking minigame in Bioshock 1 was like and in this game they, they just give it all to Elizabeth and just let you focus on the story and on the first person shooter elements which I'm I was really happy for so if you notice I'm not gonna I'm not gonna okay before I get into a little thing and there's another little system is, is gear you can have a uh, gear like so a hat shirt I think boots and pants there may be like gloves or something I'm not too entirely sure I'd ever really focused on customizing that stuff so it, it gives you like little perks and stuff and so it's another little thing where you can change your gameplay ever so slightly so it's pretty cool so if, if you notice for the more important cutscenes I'm going to cut out and and uh, not <laughs> and not well and not do the okay I, I'm not gonna to raise the audio board I'm gonna keep doing the voice so that was really awkward right there I couldn't find my words for a second so it's not gonna be every single cutscene so if you really want to pay attention to what's going on or if there's a dialogue and I'm talking over it there I there's a reason that's why I put the subtitles on so that's really to help you. So if you don't want to hear me really talk, or if you want to follow a little bit closer with the story, there's the subtitles on the bottom. And I already apologize. Uh, I th I I think there was an option for. Excuse me. I think there was an option to hear the see the audio log subtitles. I don't know. I'm not trying to need to check the menu again. So every now and then I play audio logs, and you guys can't really hear them. So it, it kind of sucks because those really add a different. Well, it had different. They add more to the story of the game, so it's a. a uh, it kind of sucks that you guys can't really hear those, and there's no subtitles to read those. But because most of the time when you're listening to them, it's in the middle of gameplay. So yeah, that's. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But oh well, oh well. If you if you have the game, listen to dialogue yourself. Uh, or I'm pretty sure there's people writing transcripts right now and putting on a wiki or something. So here's another cutscene right now, and I'll be back in a bit. Two tickets for passage to the First Lady airship. Yeah, just a minute, friend. Yeah, I have it. How do you, uh, want to proceed? In a bit of a rush, pal. Uh-huh. I got it. I'll ring you back once the matter's in hand. I don't like this. Yeah, send in the bird. We're ready to execute. Excuse me, can I get some help here? Certainly, sir. Sorry about the wait! Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Get the girl! Get off of me! Okay, and we're back. We just saw Booker get stabbed in the hand. That looked like it really fucking hurt. <laughs> so, here we go on to one of the many first-person shooter gameplay moments. As you see, I'm really enjoying using the Crow uh, Vigor. I keep, I keep wanting to call him Plasmids. As you see, I keep using the Crow Vigor right now. And I really like that one, actually. It reminds me a lot of the, the Bees one from Bioshock 1. But this one, it, it feels like it. When you use it on an enemy and you kill them, it, it, they move really, and it's really cool, actually. So I, I really favor that in these earlier, in these earlier, uh, in the earlier part of the game. But I, I, 
I mostly use uh, the Electro one later on in the game. I, I don't know if that's just a, a side effect of playing Bioshock 1, because in uh, Bioshock 1, there's something called, I think it was the 1-2 combo or something, the 1-2 punch. Uh, it's a, established very early in the game where it's where you hit someone with lightning and then use your wrench. So I, in Bioshock 1, it's after the Fort Frolic level there. Yeah, the Fort Frolic level, and you get the second wrench upgrade that basically makes your wrench do ba better damage than base god. Just, thank you base god, by the way. So yeah, it makes you do like a shitload of damage, so pretty much a tort for the rest of the game in Bioshock 1, you just use your lightning plasma and wrench everything, and you can kill everything in like one or two hits. And most of the time without like even getting touched. So I, in later videos, I use a lot of the electroplasmid, uh, electro vigor. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's just a side effect of playing Bioshock One, but I really like it because it like you you can get like a cool upgrade that lets you chain lightning to other people, so you can shoot one person and it chains to like chains to like three people, and it keeps them all off your back for a little bit. And as you notice during uh, a lot of these videos, I'm going to go off the beaten path a little bit and explore. And uh, it kind of makes these videos a little bit long, but this game isn't Skyward Sword long. It's, it, I'm not going to be playing this for like 30 hours. Maybe in an entirely like all my playthroughs. There's still a 1999 mode that I have to go through, and I'm, I'm not going to be doing a Let's Play on that because that'd be really redundant. But I think my friend, the Flying Tomato, is going to do a Let's Play for a 1999 mode. So it may, when, once he gets that shit started, I'll. I'll put a link in here or put it in the description or something. And if you notice on the screen right now, there's these infusions. These are hidden throughout the game. I think there's 27 of them. And you can use them to upgrade your salt, which is basically your Eve in this game, your shields, or your health. And there's 27 of them in the game, and they're really well hidden. A lot of them are in areas where where they're kind of off the beaten path and in some cases there's optional side missions in each of the areas where you get like a journal or something and you yeah you go find something or you like you solve like a little puzzle nothing too redonkulous but uh, they're really difficult to find them all and I'm and I didn't find them all in my first playthrough so and I even the the audio logs or whatever they're fucking called in this game. I don't I don't know if they are. They're still audio logs. Yeah, whatever they're called in this game though, they're still they're pretty difficult to find too. I think I found I think maybe 37 out of 80 my first playthrough, and that's not a lot actually, considering like in Bioshock One I kind of found them all except for like two my first playthrough. So there's gonna be another cutscene right now. So I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Dead. You killed those people. Elizabeth. You're a monster. What did you think was going to happen? Hmm? What? Do you understand the expense the people went through to keep you locked up in that tower? You think people like that are just going to let you walk away? You are an investment, and you will not be safe until you are far away from here. What, what do they want from me? I don't know. That's the last time anyone gets the drop on me. Let me see your hand. <sighs> what happened back there? <sighs> it's not the last of it, is it? I don't know. And okay, we're back here. You just saw Elizabeth bandage Booker's hand. That must hurt like a bitch, really. Like, that just, it looks really painful. And he was, like, shooting his gun and, like, stabbing people. Well, not stabbing people, like, maiming people with your little grapple, your skyhook thing, I think it's called, skyhook. I don't know, I don't know if that, that, I should really look up names before I start talking about things. I just think skyhook. Um, the thing from Dark Knight, and it was at an actual like military project to like extract people. So that's pretty. That's another random thing. But anyway, this video is gonna end fairly soon.
it's just a little bit more exploring and we're going to go into the next area. So that about wraps it up guys, so see you later and just keep on watching. Remember, one each weekday and until this game's done, so see you later guys.